let's talk about horticulture before bonsai. Now, trees go dormant in order to protect themselves. It's just an inbuilt DNA code that the tree have, and it will respond in the same way at that particular season every year. So, leaves fall off and the tree will pull back all of the chlorophyll into the tree and store that as energy. That's why the remaining colors of the chlorophyll will be seen as red and bright yellow in autumn. Evergreens and conifers, however, needs a little bit of light even in winter because they will never lose any of their foliage, right? The needles will always stay on the tree. With that said, evergreens, however, will always have slower metabolism and go into winter sleep as well, just as the deciduous tree. How do you prepare your bonsai for winter? Well, the trick is to find a good place where you can store your bonsai in a safe way. I usually like to cover my bonsai with leaves and bark. I prefer to have my bonsai on the bonsai benches, but some people will actually dig them into the ground for protection. And another way to do it is to have wooden frames and to fill those wooden frames with bark and with leaves protect the root system from hard cold winter weather some deciduous trees are very sensitive to really cold weather like maples and mediterranean species for example those kind of trees will not survive a winter like this they need a little bit warmer winter climate so having them in a garage or unheated room outside for example would be the best alternative How do you spend your time doing bonsai in winter if all of those trees are having their dormancy outside? Well, you get some indoor bonsai, right? You keep your steady interest going, you keep your progression inside and you leave those for spring, those who are outside. And I mean, you can always style and you can always shape your trees. If you can't do that, you can read books, you can study. You can go online, you can check YouTube, you can learn so much. It's very important to fulfill that time with something meaningful if you want to grow with bonsai. Uh, something that I like to do is even prepare for spring. Sometimes I clean all of my pots, I make sure my tools are in the best possible shape, you know, that I can have them. I look in my toolbox, I try to find new solutions. I buy material, I will go online and check for cool things that I can invest in for my hobby. You know, there's a lot of things you can do, you just have to set your mind on it. Be a part of the Bonsai Talk family. Smash that like button and make sure that you hit that subscribe button. There is so much to come and this is only the beginning. Let's grow together and let's talk bonsai.